Welcome back to Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in Santa's workshop where something terrible has happened, thanks to the toy inventor Ivor Nidea. That's all we know so far. Oh, it's Santa's coat and hat. Oh, that's bad. Oh, it's covered in mint ice cream. Yeah, I think I'll start with that, actually. I was going to start over there, but I'm going to start with this. God damn it, every time I try to do one, I do the other instead. Huh. Get those boots, too. Oh yeah, no big deal. It's only the most famous outfit in the world. Probably been wearing the thing for like 700 years now. And whose fault will it be if, uh, I got it that time. This thing is ruined. I'm surprised they didn't just send this to dry cleaning. There we go! Santa's coat is clean. Good thing I never didn't have to get the side facing the wall. Let's get off these, uh, buckles. Okay, oops! Huh, these are really well-made hooks if I'm standing on the coat. Okay, Santa's outfit is fine. What are these? Out elf outfits. Sure. Of course the shoes curl up at the end and have bells on the toes. Of course they do! Why the fuck wouldn't they do that? Uh, hmm. Dude, I had some big feet. Fucking sideshow Bob shoes over here. So who the fuck is French Bob, anyway? If it's a reference, I don't get it. Okay. A bunch of outfits cleaned. I also noticed uh, up here with the the nutcrackers. This is actually the door to Santa's office. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, dime it. It's not like X has changed weapons in Alan Wake or anything. Oh, 
Oh, nor texts. Everyone was hard at work. I reached 20%. Nice. Bangs was testing the durability of their rocket ships in the ceiling, whilst Mullet was fine-tuning the high notes of their xylophone. Across the way, High Top Fade had made some planes with precision engineering, whilst Pompadour had made some dolls that probably needed more work, really. Why are they all named after haircuts? French Bob. Oh, yeah. Huh. I guess it really was about that. Oh, I didn't even know there was anything on this wall. It blends in so much with all the crap around it. Santa's list? It's like a secret artifact. It's kind of funny to refer to something as a sacred artifact as part of uh, the secular part of Christmas. Okay, that's not going to work. Where my ladder is. Ah, yes. I'll just grab it from all the way over here because I have 30 foot long given arms. Apparently. Okay, the list is cleaned off. Let's see. Oh dear, Rosie's on the naughty list. Oh, a few of the names on the nice list are crossed off. They must have done something bad at the last minute. A lot of the. Why is. Oh, why is Krampus on the naughty list? He's just doing his job. Some of these don't even seem like names. Glee? Noodle? Okay, Binky is technically a name. Uh, but, like, Trinity? Benny Fay? I see Cloud on there. I wonder if that's a reference to the Final Fantasy VII level they did. Tifa. Yeah, probably. Oh, look, Marmalade went from the nice list to the naughty list. Grinch. Ha! Love that. Shadow. Huh. Well, if it's the first thing that popped into my head, yeah, yeah. I think that deserves to be on the, na on the naughty list. I don't think Santa goes to the dark place, but whatever. Uh, huh. Buffy. I've only ever heard that name in one circumstance. Surely slaying vampires is good, not evil. Well, those vampires, anyway. <laughs> Elf Christmas schedule. There we go. French Bob, Mullet, High Top Fade, Beehive, Bangs, Pompadour, and Vicky Lou. Huh? Well, if I didn't know those were all, uh... Wait, what? Oh, movie night. Yes, yes, that's why it says whoop whoop at the bottom instead of anything else. Pardon me a moment. I can't find a haircut called Vicky Lou. Huh. If that's a reference, I don't know what it's a reference to. 
But uh, whoever they were, they were working on the gift machine. Non-binary Christmas elves, I noted. Who'd have thunk? Well, them, I guess. <laughs> Oh, yes! Actually, I wanted to go over here, too. I want to make sure I get this Christmas tree, because it's kind of, you know, the important part, other than the sleigh. It's the symbolic part. Oh, that was just my damn step ladder. Or step stool. You're telling me each of the lights is a ding? I did note that part of the announcement for this specified the exact number of new dings. I guess some people are really into that. I wonder what this Christmas tree is made of. It's all solid instead of having individual branches. Kind of looks like it's made out of pillows. Like a giant, plush Christmas tree. Which, again, easier to clean off with a power washer than a real, well, or fake Christmas tree. I was about to say real Christmas tree, and then I realized the one I, I was actually thinking of, the one that's downstairs right now, is, in fact, artificial. Also cleared off nice on this wall by accident. Well, I might as well clean off this map behind it. I wonder if there was a message in that writing nice over the world map. Uh, I don't see any uh, extra continents or anything, although now that I actually look at it, Antarctica is missing. Maybe anti Santa lives there or something. Hang on. Fucking world clocks, of course they do, because it's an international, uh, event. Huh. I mean, I'm just saying, most, time, most of the time you see the world clocks thing, the clocks are labeled. I have no idea where those are talking about. Christmas. Well, that shouldn't be true for, uh, well, the day I'm recording this or the day you're watching it. I really wasn't feeling it this year. I'm making efforts to, uh, relax, and I feel like that's helping. machine. I wonder what that means. I wonder if I want to know what that means. Eh, probably. It's a Christmas machine, after all. It's like it's sacrificing a thousand children in order to power Santa's sleigh. Although, speaking of a universe, they totally do things like that, like it's no big deal. Shout out to Justin Jones, who asks, So I wonder, with the Warhammer 40k expansion for this game, does the store sell a power washer that resembles a flamer? 
<laughs> uh, I love that. Sadly, uh, they still haven't put out any uh, images of the actual uh, 40k expansion, which is weird, because since they announced the 40k expansion, they have announced and released the Back to the Future expansion. wondering if the ex uh, extensions would extend the area that you couldn't use the thing, you know, like you got too close. Aww. It's a cute frog xylophone. Oh, and it's that rocket toy we saw the plans for. What's really funny is that these guys didn't do... This guy, game came out... Well, this game didn't come out this year, and this is the first time they've done a special Christmas thing. Hmm. That's what I was trying to say. It's a bit blurry, but I think this one is uh, just another Arctic landscape. Oh, that does look way better. What is a bunting? ribbon thing with a little flags on it. Hmm, that is an issue. in there. Uh. I didn't even see what I just dinged. Or really one of these lights. Difficult finding angles through all these presents. I also want to point out that in real life these presents can be sent fucking flying by pressurized water, no matter what know how pro well reinforced they were. Well, I don't know, maybe if it had like a PlayStation in it or something heavy. There we go, Crimbo Tree. Cleaned. Oh, the star is not clean. Excellent. Yeah, every year I ask myself if it's appropriate to play whatever game I'm playing when Christmas rolls around. I 
I remember stopping, like, uh, The Evil Within, or The Evil Within 2, I don't remember which. Maybe both. Since they were both Halloween games. And, uh, just like, yeah, this is not at all an appropriate game for any cheery holiday. I believe last year I decided to continue God of War because, uh, technically it is about, like, father-son bonding? Although I don't think any of them ever matched up quite as well as, uh, Batman Arkham City. No, sorry, not Batman Arkham City, Batman Arkham Origins, which literally takes place on the night of Christmas Eve. vividly remember a scene in that where I'm just it was a, just when I was walking around the open world and you just hear church bells going in the distance you know ringing 12 times and uh you just get Alfred in your ear going Merry Christmas Master Bruce and Batman replies with Merry Christmas Alfred and it's the softest tone his voice gets through it the entire game I, remember, I seem to remember I loaded the game the first time I got that, because it actually came up while I was off-camera, just going somewhere else in the open world. myself remember the uh, nozzle thing by reminding myself that I use Y to switch guns in a lot of games. the top of a doll and I caught the head somehow. Aw, oh, pretty. Okay. Making progress. Oh, and it's one of those frog xylophones. Let's get that, too, with, while we're here. I feel like that would make a terrible racket. There. Okay, I'm Burning Dog Face, and things are actually looking better here. Although the sleigh continues to evade me. Hmm. 
Glad I don't have to clean off the reindeer. I think that would be animal cruelty. <laughs> and on that cheery note... Oh, dear. Well. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. When we keep hacking away at this mess until it no longer exists. And until then, hope you're having a great day, hope you're having a Merry Christmas, and I hope the holidays continue to be joyful for you. Till next time. Later!